Hey, welcome, welcome, guys, and uh, here's another tutorial on our little shooter we got going on. Now, I've been working on maybe uh, a quite modular design where I didn't want to complicate the weapon system that we're using and the UI system a lot. So, what I came up with was a little bit different than probably what you guys are used to now in our FPS weapon I only have a few things that you actually have to do which is UI update and the update feature and you'll see this UI equals null and you'll see an example class dot get UI okay which is a method which drives from our class here now there's a few ways that you can integrate this and I have two which this is never called in this class right here the example class it's called from the weapon system now I have this to return a UI element okay it's a public static and you name the class get UI and then return the UI part now a part of this is you have to make these static right here but the thing about this is I want these where they can't be set from anywhere else in the project besides here now the reason why I like it that way is so I don't go over here to my weapons group and start writing code to adjust the UI when I shouldn't have to be adjusting it right here okay I should never have to adjust it from here because here's the thing this is a public class if I have ammo um I should let any class read from it but never write to this class okay so basically I can make it where it's read only from here like if I have let's say this um, the shot count right here I wanted another class to um, let's say from our weapon manager go hey does my weapon have more bullets more than zero bullets then yes do something but it should never set it only from the weapon script should it be set <coughs> unless I need something to directly affect it of course later on when we do weapon pickups yes we will probably have a specific script that will set this but I may put it on the trigger from this okay because we should never or make a method to set it that can only drive from a certain class but we should never you know have problems with ammo and different variety of things because only certain classes should be able to call something I, I could do this example class dot set weapon equals this well there you go but the way I've made it is because it's made this way this example class this is basically my UI class okay I have it return a UI and from the weapon class I pass the weapon okay but I return all because I don't need anything else because this is a weapon class right here we've set it okay which is fine because that's what we need the information from but because of this now I can go into here and go hey in this update feature guess what we can go update weapon dot name from weapon info and now we can go we can always just go weapon which is the weapon ob, you know, your weapon. Now we've got all these. What AI state are we in? What um, debugs? It's a public field. 
Okay. Firing. I mean, we've got all these methods that are public that we can access, but, you know, hey, maybe I want to test the muzzle flash. Well, from the UI thing, maybe I want to make a button It goes, hey, send message to do this, or adjust the offset, or if reloading's true, make sure the UI stays off, or Okay, this is a public bull. Well, the public bull, um, maybe we want to make a little text message that says, hey, we're reloading on the screen. Well, this is a public field, and we can actually set it from this because it's just a public when we should probably do a property. For a protected set but you know I mean some things you're probably not gonna care about or maybe I want a loading bar hey how long is it gonna take to reload and because we did this weapon dot length or reload time see this and it gets set now we can go to our maybe put a slider in here this the slider right here I forget where the code is for this where we changed oh yeah it's in a saving thing okay but maybe we want to enable the slider so that you know the time that it takes to reload my weapon right here for you know hey I want to reload how long does it take maybe I want to show it well I can do that by using this field of um where is it again and you know I mean sway maybe like I want to do options where I adjust the sway of my guy where I hate to sway in the game so just shut it off entirely maybe the user wants to do that and that's that's fine maybe that's a feature that you want and you know maybe I want to change the reload key to something else well you can do this in this type of setup okay because it's just key okay when you have just a key code like this you can give it options on your UI to change it to something else maybe you want it to be Q S T 1 ah, heck I don't know but um this is very powerful to do something like that now there is another way okay for this example class you could go into here and be like <sighs> UI equals find object of type example class, whatever the UI is. But the reason why I don't like to do this is because this is very slow. Okay? It's very slow because what maybe you want to do a singleton pattern later on or something of a different nature. I mean, this type right here is dependent on only having one and this is kind of good and bad I mean if you only have one of this class then fine but if you have multiple of it like multiple um, like for instance we have multiple weapon classes well the problem with it if I find object of type we don't know which one it's going to get and that is a severe problem when it comes to that. That's one reason why we did the class, the statics of this. Because I can call this for my weapon script. And I can make sure that it only does what I want it to at that exact moment. And my UI is dependent on its own. I mean, I can access, read how much ammo, how much.